Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. So the new episode comes tonight, which is the 100th episode, and I asked some of you guys, what do you want me to do a video on before this episode? Because it's a massive episode, it's the 100th episode. We've had 100 Supergirl episodes, and I've been here since the start. I'm sure many of you guys have been here since 2015, October. I remember the day when it first came on I watched it and I was like I like this show and it's gone on since then so I was like what do you want me to talk about so I think basically the main sort of consensus was talk about mon talk about Supergirl Alex and even though Supergirl Alex isn't you know going to be in the 100th episode it's going to be happening a few episodes after so maybe I'm going to talk a little bit about that but we're mainly going to talk about mon also they released this really cool music video and I'm going to play it towards the end of this video as well for you guys to enjoy. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, Supergirl is back tonight and it's the 100th episode, episode 13 of season 5. And I think obviously you've had a lot of reviews, a lot of reactions come out of the screeners that have been sent out for this episode. So. I don't really want to go into this because there is spoilers and I know there is spoilers and I don't want to read it myself so I'm not going to spoil that and I recommend you guys don't read those early reactions because apparently it does, you know, spoil some stuff that I don't think they should have spoiled basically. And so we're going to be talking about some other stuff before we get to the mon stuff in a second and so basically there is a new synopsis for a new episode called The Bodyguard, and I just wanted to go over this first before we get on to the mon stuff. So this is for episode 14, this is the episode after the 100th episode, and this is how it goes. Lena moves forward with Non the Cherry. Lex tasks Supergirl with protecting Andrea from an anti-tech extremist, but his nefarious purpose goes beyond merely keeping Andrea alive. Meanwhile, Lena moves forward with Non the Cherry with Lex's help. So this is obviously going to be in the aftermath of the 100th episode and whatever happens, but I think that what's going to happen in the 100th episode is going to be pretty much contained to one episode and then this is going to be going back to the normal story because the 100th episode is obviously going to be big, we're going to be looking back at past seasons, we're going to get flashbacks, we're going to get recreations of scenes in the past, we're going to see Kara in her old hairstyle, we're going to see her in her old clothes, everything like that, we're going to see lots of returning characters. So it's going to be very nostalgic, but this episode, episode 14, after the 100th episode, is going to be very much so back to normal and back to what we've been used to this season. So Lena finally moves forward with Not the Cherry. Again, this is a storyline I'm not interested in because it's happened since the very first episode and she's literally done nothing and it's just a story to keep her sort of a bit relevant and... It's a bit of a shame because I felt like they could have done something with Lena. And I think the best thing they've done with Lena this season is probably with Kara and, you know, the sort of strain. Because I think there is some sort of conflict there. And yeah, it got a bit tiring when they were, like, fighting every episode, you know, back and forth. But I think maybe that is the best thing because this non the cherry stuff is very, very nothing, really. But anyway, so Lex tasks Supergirl with protecting Andrea from an anti-tech extremist. So obviously someone who doesn't like Obsidian and maybe Lex has a reason for this. Could be something to do with Leviathan because that is, you know, very much so what he's trying to do right now. And Andrea obviously has proper links to Leviathan. So maybe this anti-tech extremist has links to them. But Supergirl is tasked to protect her. Obviously still working under the guise of Lex for a bit. And obviously the next sentence very much so goes in line with what I was just saying. But his nefarious purpose goes beyond merely keeping Andrea alive. So there is another reasoning for him wanting Supergirl to protect Andrea and keep her alive. And Lena moves forward with Non the Cherry with Lex's help. So Lex is going to be a pretty damn big thing in this episode and I'm very excited and I'm still happy that Lex has been around since Crisis and I'm very happy he's going to be sticking around even more. So let's move on to talk about mon -El. So some of you left some questions in regards to what you wanted me to talk about in regards to mon -El returning and I felt like, you know, I should go over some of this. So Vigna on YouTube asks, you should talk about mon -El coming back and how 
it could impact Kara's life. Also, Wynn told Kara to take a chance with William. So does that mean that Kara and Monel won't be together in the future? Also, are Imra and Monel still together? So that's like three questions. I'm going to answer them. So the first one is talk about Monel and how his return could, you know, impact Kara's life. So I think because he was such a big thing in season two and three, such a big thing in Kara's life, you would have to suppose that his return would have a very big impact on her and she would be very happy. However, we know he's not sticking around, so the impact isn't going to be very much so in like a relationship standard. I think it's gonna be more in like a superhero standard and like a friendly standard where Monel comes back and Monel is like great to see you Kara and Kara's like great to see you you know hopefully you're doing well and such I think that Monel is still with Imra and he's just kind of living his life being a superhero in the future I think potentially because of how long it might have been since he left you know again I think that by now they've kind of accepted that they can't be together unless obviously Chris comes back properly to the show and Monel comes back fully then there's a chance but due to the fact that this is one episode and we know that he's probably going back to the future after the 100th episode, it seems like he's probably moved on a bit, and it seems like, obviously, Kara has this new chance with William, which we'll talk about in a second, and it seems like maybe they're at a point where they realise, yes, we would love to be together, but we have to be in these separate points, and obviously that's down to the writers and down to if Chris wants to fully return. Obviously, Chris is really busy with his new projects, he's got a lot of stuff, so, you know, it's nothing on him. So, yeah, I don't think they're going to get back together. But in regards to your second question, also Wynn told Kara to take a chance on Williams. So does that mean that Kara and Monel won't be back together in the future? So, I think right now, I think they're actually going to go forward with this Kara and Williams stuff. Even though what happened last episode, obviously, was very much in the other way. But that was only due to her sort of questioning her morality. You know, starting something when she's starting it on a lie. And so that's why she changed her mind. Otherwise, she was excited to go on the date with William. So I think that that might actually continue and it might go forward due to exactly what you said with Wynn telling Kara to take a chance. And, you know, she didn't take a chance, but I think she's going to take a chance. And yeah, right now, I'm not the biggest fan of William as a character and I'm not a big fan of, you know, Kara and William together. I'm still open to it, to be honest, because I'm not really stuck on the idea that Kara and Monel will be together because it's not going to happen, which is a sad thing. Obviously, I would love that to happen, and I'm happy it happened in the past. However, it's just a circumstance of Chris not being able to properly come back, also the writers as well. So, yeah, let's move on to the next topic, and the next one is... What Monel could have been doing in the future, this is, comes from Magon on YouTube, and so what has he been doing? I think Monel probably, when he comes back, he's going to tell them about, I guess, Brainiac and them fighting in the future, and I reckon it's just going to be him living his normal life, being a superhero, and that's about it. I don't think it's going to be much more than that. It's going to be, you know, very much so in the same vein as the last time he returned, but I think he's going to be more happy to be back this time. And it's not going to be like last time when he was kind of in shock when he returned. Okay, so Shelby on YouTube asks, could you map out basically what you think the episode's going to look like from the scenes shown in the past to Caramel scenes to what Kara chooses to do about Lena? I think this is a very good question. So what I reckon will happen, because Mixie showed up at the end of last episode, he's going to be a big thing. Also remember, he's a recurring character. So he's going to be coming back again in future episodes, so be on the lookout for that, that's exciting. But what I think is going to happen is he's going to show basically scenes from Kara's past as you saw in the trailer with the TV. And they're going to flick through, they're going to choose certain points that she maybe wants to change or she wants to go back and look at. So you'll have those certain points, maybe some Kara Mel scenes in the past, definitely some Lena scenes with Kara. And, you know, maybe before Lena and Kara were, like, friends. So, basically, we know at one point Kara is going to reveal her identity to the world. So, that could be before she meets Lena or that could be after. I think if it was before, that would be a way for them to be friends and Lena to know that, you know, she is Kara. But she's also Supergirl since the very start of their friendship. So, I think stuff like that could happen in regards to Lena with the Caramel scenes. I reckon maybe there's like one scene, one flashback scene which they've recreated and 
basically most of the stuff with Monel, it seems to be like it's going to be in the present day because he returns with Win probably to help them defeat Mixie or to stop Mixie. I'm not sure the real reason why he returns, but those two do return in the present. So I don't know how many flashbacks you're going to see Monel in. But so that's what I think the episode is going to look like. And that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new. As we try and reach 100,000 subscribers, we're super close. Please share the video around to help out. And anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.